hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel to go funny lungu back with another reaction video if you're new welcome if you're not welcome back thank you for 20,000 subscribers keep subscribing liking commenting sharing and just keep on supporting us we really appreciate you guys hope you're doing all right may you stay blessed so today i'm actually going to be reacting to christian confronts muslim after claiming jesus is muslim so without wasting time let's get into the video So the, the, the sign that said uh, Jesus was a Muslim. Yes. <clears throat> For me, that, that, that struck me as, uh, as provocative because uh, when Jesus was alive, Islam had, didn't exist yet, right? Exactly. It, was, it came about in the 7th century AD with Muhammad. Mm. So what do you uh, understand by the term Muslim? And obviously he's got to explain it. For me, a Muslim is so, uh, someone who, who tries to live their life by the teachings of Muhammad. Okay, right? so Muslim linguistically means a person who submits their will to the will of the Creator. Mm -hmm. And this, yeah, so that's where it gets interesting because, okay. so because a Christian might also say that I submit my will to the will of the Creator. So could you say that a Christian is a Muslim as well? Yeah. So a, a, Can you be both? So now this is a question. Uh -huh. Uh, now, the, so for example, the disciples of Jesus Christ, or the followers of Moses, peace upon him, yeah. okay, who followed Moses his lifetime, etc., they were Muslims. Why? Because they were living the life according to the revelation which is given to their prophet, who was submitting his will to the will of the Father, oh, will of the Creator. I mean, Christians are calling the Father, etc. Yeah. Okay. So, a person who submits the will to the will of God is called a Muslim. Okay. So, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Noah. All of these messengers and prophets were Muslims by that definition. Okay. So linguistically, it means so. The, uh, what some may think is a Muslim is a person who follows the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, or a Muslim is a person who is made from the Arabian Peninsula, for example. You know, some, yeah. of course, well, some that's, may that's, some may assume yeah. that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But this is incorrect. Muslim is the one who submits the will to the will of the Creator. Mm -hmm. So that's why Jesus Christ, he is a Muslim okay. according to us, and we believe in him. We believe in his miraculous birth. We believe in him, the miracles he carried out by the permission of God. Okay. All of these things, all the miracles he did, by well, whose permission? So yeah, so it's like, and, 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 and you would put all the Abrahamic prophets in that tradition. Absolutely. Like, uh, Abraham but it's, the question is... Moses. No, the, exactly. The, the question is, what, where are you deriving your knowledge on who these people were and what they revealed? The, what, what is your source material? So Jesus Christ, um, I mean, we believe in him as a person uh, who came with a message from God uh -huh. to guide us on how to live our lives. Okay, when God created us, do you think He just created us and left us aimlessly without any purpose? No. And do you think He uh, left us without guidance so we can't achieve that purpose which you believe we have? No, I think He did. He gave us guidance. Yeah, sure. And the messengers and prophets are the carriers of this guidance yes. from, from God. Okay. So Jesus Christ is a messenger from God. This is how we believe. Right, right, right. We don't would you say that like uh, a very devout Christian today who submits himself to God, like I don't know, Pope Francis or something, you wouldn't say that he was a Muslim? Now, for example, now, now does he view Jesus Christ as a part of God? Uh, yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. So this is where we say, okay, I have to, I have to differ with you on this point because I believe God is one, and He's indivisible. Okay. He has no parts or factions. And you think that Jesus Himself believed that? Jesus, when he, when he worshipped, who did he worship? When, Je if Jesus was God Himself, yeah, did he? Can God have another God? But because in the Bible Jesus says things like uh, he addresses God as Father. He says, "Father, why hast thou forsaken me?" So he, Jesus, de uh, it so sounds from the, the scriptures like Jesus thought that he was the Son of God and that he was a part of God. Exactly. Or at least that's an interpretation. So when he says, "Father, why have you forsaken me?" Yeah. Now, if he was God himself, is he calling upon himself? Number one. Mm. If he was God himself, is he calling upon himself? If he was a son of God, then there are many other sons in the Bible. Do we take them as literal sons? No, mm -hmm. we take them as metaphorical sons. Mm -hmm. David is, uh, is known as the, uh, as, as the son of God in the Bible. Yeah. He's known as his firstborn. Yeah. But we don't say he's the actual son of God. Yeah. Because, why? Because we say oh, it's a meta. Would you say that's the main difference between Islam and Christianity is the, the tripartite division versus in Islam it's the oneness? Islam is the only purely monotheistic religion on the planet. So when it comes to, in terms of what, when we use our intellect yeah. okay, and our reasoning, yeah. it's up until a point. And that point is when we establish that this revelation I'm holding in my hands is from the Creator. After that point, whatever the Creator tells us about the unseen, Seen, we submit to without without question. Why? Because once we establish that this is the God, this is God Himself speaking, okay. Yeah. Then if God says yeah, there is a heaven and hell, 
there is angels and jinn and all of these things which exist, demons, yeah. etc. Yeah, yeah. Then we accept them uh, wholeheartedly and without question. Because we, until that point, we, we, we can say, okay, I can critique the Quran and say, well, is that this, does this deserve to be the word of God? Does it have any mistakes inside it? Does it have any contradictions inside it? Has it been preserved? Now we find the qualities with the Quran and with the Bible, because we do obviously do comparative religion. Uh, have you looked into the Bible? Have I read the Bible? Uh, most of it. Yeah. Uh, now we find, unfortunately, these these criteria for being the, the Word of God are not met in the Bible. There are contradictions within the Bible. There are mistakes within the Bible. Yeah. And these point to the, author, the authorship of the Bible being human beings rather than God Himself. Because uh -huh. human beings can make mistakes. But the Old Testament was written by God though, right? Like so, uh, Genesis was written by God. Yes. Yeah, so, so, no, so... Uh, the, Moses, the KOA came down through Moses, but so ten commandments. So it's a preservation of these, of these, of these, uh, these manuscripts or, the, or this uh, text rather. Okay. Now, if it was written by God, would you agree that it should be free from error? Yes. Because God Himself is all knowing; He's yes. perfect. Yes. yes. And if you were to see errors within this, would you then question this being the Word of God? Yes. And that's what we see: yes. the Old Testament as, and the New Testament. It's, I mean, there's over a hundred. Numerical. I mean, it's not even um, like subject to interpretation. It's literally numerical, clear-cut, black and white mistakes within it. Yeah. Yeah, have you yeah. have you heard them before? I uh, yes, yeah, so yeah, yeah, I'm familiar with most of them. Yeah. So so and 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 for you, the Quran has has none of those. Absolutely none. Absolutely none. Okay. If if there was to be one, especially similar to like what we find in the Bible, then of course a Muslim would reject the Quran completely. Uh -huh. And the Quran itself, and the preservation is different as well. The Bible, we if you look at the okay manuscripts, number one, earliest manuscripts, okay, at best a hundred years after Jesus Christ, at yeah. best, at most three hundred years yeah, for yeah, some yeah, of the yeah, uh, yeah. other ones. The Quran was written in Arabic, was uh, uh, during the lifetime of the Prophet Muhammad peace upon him. The oldest, one of the oldest manuscripts of the Quran is in Birmingham which has been carbon dated to the lifetime or close to the lifetime of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and it's in Birmingham they found it in 2015 wow. as late as that so not just that when they looked at the manuscript the Arabic from from I thought over a thousand years and today is identical okay. wow. so these all these evidences because you have to be evidence-based like we do with every other aspect of our lives yeah conveniently when it comes to religion we tend to disengage our minds and say well you know we can understand Islam says no use those faculties that you have yeah and reason and find the truth and if something makes sense to you, be sincere to yourself to believe it. Well, so we don't dictate anything. It's very nice Rather, we say question uh, and learn and, and, and reflect. Well, uh, yes, I'll, I'll have a look at this. Uh, Would you like a Quran because you've spoken so much about it? Sure, yeah, of yeah, course. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I think I have, a, I have an old copy in my house. But, this is um, this, 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 it's not Shakespearean English, it's normal English. Okay. It's, it's one of the most accurate translations of the Quran okay. in, in normal English terms, essentially. Yeah. So uh, take this away with you. You have a little index at the back here Great. where you can search for certain, t certain words and, uh, uh, or certain terms and where they appear inside the Quran. Uh, so look, we are not enemies of Christians or anything like that. I know. I know. Rather, we accept Jesus Christ. All we say is, do not give him uh, a status which he himself never uh -huh. gave himself. Like I am God. Uh -huh. He never said, like uh, unequivocally, I am God, and by in turn worship me. He never said that. He always worshipped the Father. He always called upon the Father. You know, if he was God. Why would he call, why would he say you know uh, my God and your God? Yeah, 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 yeah. Why would he have his own God if he was God himself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's these illogical fallacies which, which which come into that whole concept of the Trinity, which till this day I, I assure you we speak to a lot of Christians. Yeah. Till this day and even Christians you know yourself yeah. can never square that circle. Yeah, 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 yeah. It just no, it's true. I mean, it's it's one of the mysteries, isn't it? And yeah. a mystery is one point, but illogical is probably a more accurate <laughs> yeah. accurate term. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mystery is a convenient yeah. word to get out of it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. There's <laughs> it's completely logical, okay? Yeah. So, you know, for yeah. us, we, w we work with like, we we've been given these minds for a reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, it's very true. Very true. Uh, I, I, I agree. I agree with that. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, it's lovely to meet you. If I've said anything uh, which has caused any offence, please uh, forgive no, me. No, 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 it's no, not no, my, no, no. It's no, not no, my no, intention. No, 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 if you have any questions, yeah. uh, we're on Instagram, TikTok, all the rest of it. Okay. Uh, it's on the card on the inside. Pop okay. us a message. Okay. okay. And, uh, and we're happy to sort of follow up with you there. Great. We're here every Saturday, one to five. Take it, take it. Uh, this was very very beautiful to watch. I actually love these calm videos 
because he was willing to listen and the other one was willing to educate or teach or whatever you want to call it and willingness to listen to the questions that were coming and the responses that were given is quite evident in this video there's many things like i think i've asked this in uh some videos i have a cousin who's like comes from a very very like deep christian background the parents of pastors they should have some pastors among themselves themselves and um she actually said i don't believe jesus was god so if there's um if there's christians that think that why plus the mistakes considered to be in the bible which was of course typed so i understand why there are mistakes in the bible but what i'm trying to say is why is it that now that we're still alive we're still on this earth the Christians that believe those things that they are mistakes and agree that yes these are mistakes why can't they come out and actually eliminate them and just come up with a new version of the Bible that people can agree with or people can take without having someone tell you but these mistakes these mistakes also what if because I remember I was re uh, reacting to the grammatical mistakes found in the Quran or something like that what if Christians, like the Muslims in that video, explains to other religious people that say, but there's mistakes in the Bible, there's mistakes, said, this is the way it was supposed to be, this is not a mistake. This is how God intended it, intended it to be. Would the rest of the religious um, people accept it? I love the question of can... If Jesus was God, can God have another God? That was that 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 was a very very good question, you know. And I love the advice the guy gives of saying, "Ask questions and learn. Go out there, ask questions. Feel free. There are many people that are willing to talk, to discuss, to educate you. Uh, sometimes you see them actually under the comments. They explain to you, say." You may have misunderstood this this was a point being derived or this is where this was going and they actually take that time to educate you those people those people are blessed those people should be blessed because they are willing no matter who you are where you're coming from how tall short you are they're willing to explain to you to make you understand that's one thing i appreciate by anyone that actually takes the time out to do that under our videos otherwise if there's something you want me to react to drop the link or the name down below i'll be more than glad to react to it make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video